The halls are silent for a moment. However, as you're watching this, the new school year has probably already started or will shortly. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. We'll have some back to school safety reminders for you and a new cell phone policy for Anne Arundel County Public Schools. These stories and much more, but first, every year at this time, we like to remind everyone that there are seven Anne Arundel County Public Schools on the installation and the safety issues that arise with kids going back to school. So a lot of routes through posts have set aside routes for kids to go to school. So making sure that they're well lit, they're walking with an adult if they're not able to walk, you know, walk alone. If, you're, uh, if they ride a bus, making sure that when the bus comes up that you're standing at least six feet away or three big steps away from it until it comes to a complete stop and then walk up to it, use the handrails to get on, making sure that you're safe. Um, if your kid has to cross the bus, you know, once they get off the bus, a lot of kids have to get off and cross the street, right? And all the time there isn't a crosswalk right there. So once they do that, that's a good time to make sure that they walk at least 10 steps in front of the bus where the bus driver can see them. In a related story, Anne Arundel County Public Schools has put a new cell phone policy in place for the new school year. Details from Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Mark Bedell and Monique Jackson, Chief Officer of Student and Systemic Supports. Changes we are putting in place have come about after involving students, staff, parents, and community partners. Absolutely. This school year, students in elementary and middle school will be required to have their phones either off or on silent throughout the day, including in hallways and at lunches. Students at the high school level will be allowed to use their phones at lunch, but the phones must be either off or on silent at all other times during the instructional day. This is not a ban on cell phones. It is a change in our guidelines designed to enhance the learning environment so that everyone can belong, grow, and succeed. In other news, earlier this summer, the National Security Agency stood up the Artificial Intelligence Security Center to detect and counter AI vulnerabilities. Here's more, courtesy of the NSA's YouTube channel. From faster threat detection to predicting new cyber tactics, Artificial intelligence has the potential to safeguard sensitive networks. It also poses a growing threat to our nation. Adversaries are threatening to steal or tamper with AI systems. In response, the National Security Agency launched the Artificial Intelligence Security Center, or the AISC. Located within the Cybersecurity Collaboration Center, the AISC aims to defend the national security systems and the defense industrial base by detecting and countering AI vulnerabilities and driving partnerships with industry and academia to promote AI security best practices. The AISC, advancing cybersecurity through AI security. In other news, September is Suicide Prevention Month. Fort Meade's Suicide Prevention Program has several events through the month we'd like to highlight. First, on Wednesday, September 4th, the Suicide Prevention Program is offering Pure Praxis Interactive Training. Pure Praxis is an improvisational performance group with actors simulating real-world problems. Audience participation is also key. There are three one-hour sessions on the 4th, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 1.30 p.m. at the Post Theater. On September 18th, there's a suicide prevention workshop with the Washington Tattoo. The workshop includes using music as a therapeutic tool. The workshop is from noon to one at the Post Theater. And then on the 26th, there's a suicide prevention table talk with military and community leaders as well as prevention subject matter experts. Once again, that's the 26th at 1130 at the Post Theater. We close this week with a couple of reminders on the job search front. First, MWR and the Maryland Department of Labor's quarterly job fair is coming up Wednesday, September 11th from 10 to 2 at Club Mead. As always, for those that don't have immediate access to the installation, there's a shuttle service that runs between the Army Reserve Center on Maryland 175 and Club Mead. It's an opportunity to meet employers face to face, so everyone's encouraged to bring resumes and dress for success. On October 1st, the Fleet and Family Sports Center and Club Meet are hosting a Military Spouse Appreciation Job Fair and Resource Expo. The fair is from 10 to 2 at Club Mead. Registration, though not required, is highly encouraged. Call the Fleet and Family Sports Center at 301-677-9014. And although it's focused on spouse appreciation, all DOD ID card holders are welcome to attend. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.